Hello everyone and welcome back once again to another episode of Let's Play XCOM. Been a little while, my internet has been having some issues, as well as me personally, but we're here to do some alien abductions. It is time to abduct some aliens in Brazil. That is the land in which aliens may be found and harvested for our own malicious purposes. We have many people here today, but we better give this, this man here some Carapus armor or he will be shot, and that's just not good. In fact, let's color code him, because we don't like the men to be shot while wearing the wrong colors. There we go, now he's got the same colors as he had before. Let's get to it. Time to abduct Brazil. We have visual on the mission site. Oh yeah. Brazilian authorities have requested our help. So that's where we're going next. Operation Fading Gift. Apparently, a local broadcast yeah, indicating satellites no longer prevent abductions from taking area. place. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. It's time to launch the mission, isn't it? Get some promotions and more importantly get some weapon fragments. So I took the opportunity of studying the research window. And all of those powerful plasma weapons require a ton of fragments to construct. And quite simply, we've just burnt through them. So it's time to press on. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big it's Sky. It's a fountain. You five by five. Whoa. Strike one has the green light for deployment. And now that we have been lit by the green that is lit up light, we're exploring and overwatching as always in this particular game. Not just the use of combat stim. Just seeing what it does. You know, we haven't had an opportunity to use it just yet, so why not? Why not indeed? Switching to the pistol, of course, for the necessary overwatching actions. King dashing to the fore. Because they usually are inside, let's be honest. The classic spider of legend. Cowering behind a bin, as all spiders do. <laughs> Sounds like mutants. Yet none of our personnel have detected the location of the mutants just yet. We'll have to be skillsome. Yes. Let's not get too carried away. Let's just keep progressing. Slowly and surely. Towards wherever the aliens might be. Better get the pistol out. Scatter lasers are useless at long range. Let's try a battle scanner. See what's over in this general vicinity. If the camera obeys me, uh, just click there, wherever that was. Let's get a better view. It revealed nothing. Oh well. Spider moves from one bin to another, examining their contents as necessary to see if there are any clips. Or whatever, you know how it is. Oh, that turns out there were things revealed by the, the battle scanner. My random clicking was fortuitous. Who can actually see that, though? Apparently nobody. Okay. How about Thor, if he, like, moves around here a bit? Nope, nope, he can't see that. Clearly what is needed is to use a rocket launcher. Because subtlety, well... This is XCOM. Uh, no, it's not gonna work. The blaster launcher is considerably nerfed from comparison to the first game. Oh well. To be honest, it's fair enough. It's really... A, it was a bit strong. And considering this is also a multiplayer game too, they have to make some things almost fair. 
as is the nature of things. All right, we'll get Quicksilly to make a nervous advance. Up, oh, too close. Now the aliens get their free move. Fortunately, we had the opportunity to get some reaction fire set up. Which all missed completely, as you'd expect. Alright, now we can, like, do it. There's something out there. Thank you, Thor, for letting us know there's something out there, really. Fun, funny about that one. Um, Cooksilly's gonna bravely run away. Yeah, here we go. Because that guy gets another move now. And we're not gonna get him down in one hit, let's be honest with ourselves. That hurts. Plasma gun to the face. But that is all the pain that is dished out this turn. We can now get out the sniper rifles, deal some serious damage. Get some headshots out there. 12 damage. Four then panics. And the other gets a free move again. But he does the good thing when sometimes they panic and kill the alien anyway, and you're like, well, I don't mind. Time for Quicksilly to do what she does best. Seven damage, the headshot didn't connect, but that's okay. She gets to shoot again. The second shot missed. That is not good. Everyone is embarrassed. Of course, King, the, the nickname of King, has no ability to actually hit anything at any sort of range, but he does it today. 41% accuracy actually worked today. So, that's just how it goes. Reverse XCOM accuracy. The person with 85% accuracy didn't hit. Encountering the Cyber Disc, which actually then just does nothing. We're going to Overwatch just to be safe. There's something out there. There is something out there, I believe you. We're going to Overwatch with the Spatter Laser Equipper person. Taking cover back to the bin for you, Spider. You're doing a good job guarding that bin. It's necessary. In fact, you've managed to guard a different bin every time you've Overwatched. There are some heavy floaters who have just appeared in the same room as the previous lot. Unfortunately, both of our people on Overwatch completely missed. Yay! The feeling that my ship was slightly too advanced is dealing some considerable damage. Oh, alien grenade time. There goes Thor. But silly panics for justifiable causes. Dealing 9 damage to the enemy heavy floater. Spider panics as well because one good panic deserves another. And he shoots the cyber disc. And then comes a drone just to be preparing the cyber disc because why not? Who can actually move? You can move, good on ya. Alright, um... Information. What does that actually do, the combat stick? Temporarily increase will and reduce damage taken. Well, that's a good idea because you're right in the middle of it. Well, you got a lot of very, very excited there, but um... It also used to be stem, which I didn't actually realise it would do. Oh, I'll enjoy your damage reduction. I'm gonna need it. Bursting through the door dramatically, evoking even more enemies because they were all hiding in one room. Shiv, you need to bravely do something. Um, hmm. I've over advanced. Well, you did nine damage, it's good. Ah, Morgari person. 
accuracy is shot. Give it a go anyway. The reason why it was shot is because he used his shotgun by accident. Um, it's not like it actually made any real difference. Things are pretty bad. It was all Bubbles' fault. If he wasn't in Med Bay, we wouldn't be having these problems. We're going to test out how good these combat stims are now, aren't we? It's four damage from the plasma gun. Zero damage from the microwave. Heavy floater does some repositioning on us. This heavy floater appears. Everyone panics. Priscilla is suppressed, but otherwise happy. The Cyberdisc deploys and fires at the ship, but the ship is made of stronger stuff than this. The drone fails of life. Priscilla, even though suppressed, still retains surprisingly good accuracy. However, she is still in a dangerous place. With only six hit points and in a suppressive fire, she needs to do something and do it properly. Okay, well... We do have heat ammo on this man, so we are able to take out both of the vehicle units quite comfortably. So let's do it. Actually, the explosion will not take out the other one. Probably did a pretty good job of it, at least. Let's fire again. We have flanked this person, and they do need to die pretty badly, so let's just do it. Nine damage. I'm actually quite pleased of that damage. Good on you, King. Spider, the man himself, has recovered from his previous morale problems. And I'm going to switch to the plasma pistol now. We do need to get Quick Silly to kill this person right now. That's 100% accuracy for you. Double tap. Let's fire again. Oh, this person here needs to die. Up, oh, alas, 15% accuracy. It did prevail. But the cover has now been destroyed, allowing our good friend Morgri now to deal considerable damage of his laser shotgun. Don't ask how a laser shotgun actually works. Alright, Spider has suddenly gone from being, oh dear, everything's bad, to actually not so bad. I told you not to ask how a laser shotgun Dad's watching in the background. That was a good suppress, it took out some cover. The Shiv now has a choice between shooting this thing in the face, or running away and shooting in the face, so I'm going for the running option. Providing some cover for the King. Eight damage and an intimidation. Of course the Shiv just shrugs off intimidations. Spider immediately takes his reaction shot because the enemy's trying to move. Dealing eight more damage to the Berserker. It's getting up close and personal. Of course, now it takes its turn for real and bashes it in the head. No, 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 it doesn't bash it in the head after all. King takes more hits in the face from a plasma rifle, but the stim is great. Oh, feel the stim's power. Just like in StarCraft, you need the stim. It is, um, it's pretty much saved this person's life so far. And, uh, death versus life? That's the drugs question. Silly effortlessly disposes of that enemy there. King's now getting into it himself. The first attack missing entirely and embarrassing everybody, but the second one... Yes! Now we're doing it. Weapon sucking ammo fast. That is the that is the purpose of a gun. Yes. All right. Spider decides he can't see anything, so he's going to throw a smoke grenade instead. Hopefully, the purple mist will actually save King's life. In order to cure this, I'm going to issue some suppression orders. It also took out the cover, which is even better. Good, our good friend Morgri. Look, movement rings have appeared. 
to advance, get out that pistol, and get ready to overwatch in case there are any surprises. As if there haven't been enough already. We are flanking the enemy. The enemy has panicked, allowing us to continue our assault. We could deal up to seven damage with our good friend there. Silly doesn't have a line of fire just yet, but advancing, now she does. We'll get her to take the shot. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. Yeah, that's good. Nine damage remaining. And our king can take it for the experience. I'm up. Training ammo fast. Commander, the operation was a success. Really, Central? Central king of the obvious. We have now completed Operation Fading Gift. Lost four. Alas, the, the Lord of Zap was not enough for this particular mission. Overwhelmed by mutants. And now we watch unnecessarily long loading screen. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And now everyone's in med bay. Yay! Oh, we do get an extra good dude though, as a result. Okay, Morgari. I'm probably saying that wrong. I say everything wrong. Is going to get some tactical sense. It's always good to have sense, isn't it? We have lots of artifacts and weapon fragments. It's brilliant. And we have. Uh, Captain Vega, Remember, who needs a far more pronounceable name? Because um, Commander, uh, we're in desperate shut need up, of Central. Troops. No one cares. If we don't start recruiting new soldiers through the barracks soon. We're not going to win this fight. That combat stem action was brilliant. Gonna keep that going. All right, let's give you some abilities. Oh man, you are awesome. Got five, five levels of promotion already. Tactical sense. We got up close and personal, the lightning reflexes. Lightning reflexes. We can just be ballsy and charge into enemy fire. We got flush. Or rapid fire. Rapid fire. Oh yeah. We got bring him on. Or close combat specialist. Hmm. Adds one damage on critical hits for each enemy the squad can see. Let's go to close combat specialist. Because it's always good. He's a DJ. Well, this musical man must be renamed to something that I can pronounce easily and effortlessly. So we're going to give him a noble name. And um, once again, I have to look at my nearby environment. Ah, I see an old set of scales with the brand Sattler. Therefore, you shall be named Scales. <laughs> because it's just sitting there on top of the freezer. So, there you go, give you some facial hair because you need to have a balanced, very balanced hairstyle. We'll give you some hair colour. That's very, very justice orientated. We need something that's screaming authority. Oh, okay, colour one. What about your armour? I think that works quite nicely. Saddler of Scales. <laughs> At least we have someone who could replace Thor, alas. Thor was not sufficient. We're going to press on and scan for additional activity. We've got a large contact and it's coming in fast. We're going to have a difficult time keeping up with this one. Let's scramble the interceptors, the single interceptor, with the laser cannon. Hopefully the laser cannon is good enough. Probably not. Enemy is padlocked. It is a padlocked enemy. Closing on target. We won! Interceptor shot down the target UFO. Surveillance indicates alien crew moving at the crash site. This interceptor sustained severe damage in the encounter. Now we can send our Sky Ranger. Ah. Looks like it's going to be a law of the normal sort of day. Because, um. We only have basic dudes. Really. So, enjoy not having anything to, that's actually good. The upshot, we might actually get some promotions. Gonna have to have lots of grenades, of course. Grenades will allow us to, um... Get that extra experience without having to rely on accuracy. 
Just have to unlock Run and Gun. There we go. Okay, how about you, Harrington? What have you got? You got no armor. Smoke grenade. I'll give you some stems to combat the fact you got no armor. Pistol, laser rifle. Yeah. Go on, you killer, Aunt Eric Harrington. You know, because you've got a good name, we're going to give you a better name. Give it the name of Winchester, because it's a good name. Everyone's looking boring and stock. This man, Lyndon Woods, needs a better name. We're going to call him Forrest, because that's what a wood is, really. And this Mary Nichols, your name is too pronounceable. We need to give you a better name that's not so unpronounceable. And we shall call you... Susan 3, because it's always a good thing to have multiple yes, Susans. Change the head, change the... I'm just clicking buttons randomly now. Let's get a masked woman. Why did they leave the neck exposed? It's so bad. Okay, well, expose necks aside. Let's do this one for the shiny face. Oh, look at that, shiny face. Alright, well... Hit the armor a bit. That'll do. Okay, let's just go. It's probably going to end incredibly badly. We're literally down to just, yeah. It's going to end badly. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Let's begin the assault. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Operation Unceasing Night. Ugh. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. So do I, Central. I wish for the civilians to stay clear. May their names not be sullied by this operation. Looks like we're almost going to be landing on top of the enemy UFO. Oh no, no, we're going to land away from it some distance, but not very far. Just enough so we can say we did touch Earth. Central, this is Big Sky. Just. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. I will say it's good to know that we have our least equipped squad possible for this operation. Literally. We go straight this into the Hornet's Nest. It's a supply ship of some kind, and the potential storage capacity is enormous. If the aliens are really attempting to bring in this much outside material, it can only mean they're ramping up the scale of the invasion. Well, obviously it's triggered by story, but it's good to know that it is actually going to all end badly. But it is a supply ship, which means is there another base? Probably, because, well, why else would you have one? But as far as I know, they don't actually build them. I will admit I'm now outside of my comfort zone. I have actually not played up to this point in single player, I am now exploring a brave new world, thanks to you, the loyal subscribers, who are not being represented at all because, well, <laughs> oh no, the spider's here, everyone else is just either random objects on my desk, or, <laughs> yeah, being me being silly. Oh well, Susan advances, and because she's just armed with a rifle instead of a a shotgun for some reason. Spider getting in there, getting bold, getting manly. Seems there's no one so far though that's actually being interesting. But it could be a quite a large vessel, so we need to be ready for our largeness to be exposed and expressed in this in this way. What am I even saying? I don't know. <laughs> largeness. Might as well have someone in circle. Miles of the person who's the best close. Actually, no. Someone else completely should be doing that. Like, Winchester. Winchester goes in in circles. Because he's got the bleak worst equipment anyway. He can pick up stragglers. Everyone else goes inside. There you go. Got there eventually. In 3D. Alien activity is detected. It does sound like mutants to me. Let's get up there. It's a good vantage point, but it has been easily determined that there are no enemies in this room. 
There's also a guy behind the wall here. And, um, yeah. Seems to be... I mean, fingers crossed, only a single story craft. I mean, go away. If you don't count this rampy nonsense here, um, or here, it seems to be, yeah, essentially one level. Although that seems to be quite deep, looking through the fog of war. We're gonna have to find out. It's Overwatch with bravery and skill. As we know, we are dealing with crew who are not as experienced as I would like them to be. The camera doing its own thing. I didn't actually want that person to go there, but, you know, this is, this is XCOM 2012. It does things. Winchester. Once again, a, a victim of camera control. As this man, we'll basically need to get to the door because, let's be honest about ourselves. I wanted him to join up with the others, but yeah, I'm having issues there. It looks like there is actually sniper decks. There are sniper decks on top. Slightly concerning, but we haven't seen any particular threats at this stage. Let's go Forest to get up there with that alien power source. Heavies are attached to explosives, and so why not put the explosive man next to the explosive device? It just makes some sort of strange sense to me. Lots of glo groaning and groaning. It's clear that they are waiting us out. But we'll be okay, for we are ready. So ready. Oh, we're ready. Wanted to get some better weapons, of course, for our crew. You know, getting into the plasma tier. Took us long enough to even get a heavy laser. But hey, we're actually starting to be somewhat competent. I say that because we still struggled that last mission. Although it was a bit of a bad map. That map is a bit of a trap. And now the man who was a victim of camera control shall now advance completely with no regard for personal safety. It's the way we like it. It is the way we like it. It's very definitely making the next room, whoever's there. I think you're right, whoever you are. It's a very large room too. I will want our full crew ready for whenever we get to that point. Not regretting the heat ammo on our king. Being able to deal 18 damage to cyber discs is quite comforting. I'm aware that sector pods exist in the game too and apparently they do take some killing. So it will be good to have that security and peace of mind. Susan, number three, shall advance. Cover is a bit laughable at this point, but let's be honest to ourselves. They are just waiting for us. There's just no denying that. They're just sitting around waiting for us to pop in that door. Very reminiscent of the old style AI. The old ones. If we had good Silly with us, we'd throw a battle scanner in, but she is spending much deserved time in sick bay, resting with her good friend Bubbles. Meanwhile, the small dog creature decides it's time to bark incessantly. Let's open that door. Whoa! I meant a left click, not a right click. Well, this is the point when we say, goodbye Winchester, because you're a victim of the fabled misclick. Spider takes cover, and honestly, fair enough. Um, Winchester, as we know, is dead meat, so we might as well help him out in, in giving him a nice death. You know, it's, the, it's what we'd want. Have a nice death. Forrest immediately panics, and Spider takes a reaction shot at the intimidating person. The panicking man, of course, taking down another one of the enemies. We've lost visibility of the mutants, but that's okay. 
we have the ability to throw an alien grenade, eliminating the final two in a single blow. Here we go. Suck on this. And believe it or not, they did. And it was impressive. Unfortunately, Winchester did perish. It's sad, but at least we gave him a friendlier death than the death that could have been inflicted by the mutant berserkers. Here they come. Oh, there are more. I thought I was being sensible. Apparently not. As I continue to make strategic blunders, they are moving. I might as well move with them. Alright, let's do it. It's a grenade. Five damage being dealt to all concerned parties. Looks like that Sadler person isn't going to be much help after all. Susan 3, down to one hit point. We are in open ground. Very poor ground for our assault class. Fortunately, this ground is not suitable for defensive purposes. We really just need to fall back in a completely, completely serious way. And our accuracy is shot. I mean, let's just switch to pistol for a moment. We really have no chance of dealing any serious damage with this man. We need to pull back to defensive positions. Alright, let's see if we can rescue the situation and then we'll call it a video. Running away bravely, we're now in cover. Now they have an opportunity to move where we can see them and theoretically shoot them. This is all a happy situation for me. Poor Lieutenant Susan number three might, might be the last in her generation. It's sad, but it might be true. Sadler is stuck at extreme range and never able to provide much in the way of support, but let's give it a shot. Concentrated fire, perhaps, might provide oh, some support. Give us movement rings, or give me justice, I suppose. Position you here, that way you can take your shot from here. It's five damage, dealing a critical hit. I am pleased. Spider, do you have movement rings yet? You do, and you can get up here, which is awesome. If the camera would let me. Alright, camera. Play nice. We need this thing to die. We'll give Sadler an opportunity, though, to prove his worth by providing some rapid fire. Four damage. And. What was that second lot? Another four damage? It was. I'm impressed. The enemy is down to one hit point. Which means, it might be time to provide some pistol damage from our good friend, Classic. Out of the game. That's right, one heavy plasma rifle has been destroyed, and now it is two to go. Eight damage dealt to our heavy, and the other floater advances. It's time to keep getting serious. We don't have a lot of energy, we don't have a lot of strength, but we must carry on. Meanwhile, Sadler is in a position where he could probably quite easily take out one by himself, getting manly and bold, but he would be completely exposed from the second person. Alright, let's get to run and gun. Alright, let's get down there. I want to see this guy dead. This heavy floater. I just mean dead. Completely dead. 100% accuracy. Rapid fire. 10%, 10 damage. That's how we roll with the assault class. Now the really important thing is we need to kill this other one. 
so badly. So we're going to pull out the maximum damage we can get, dealing up to 8 damage with Spider. 6 damage from Spider. It may not be sufficient, unfortunately. We've got the ability to run and gun, but we can't really do much with it. So we could deal up to 4 there, and up to how many here? Up to 7. Well, let's try for the 7. Oh, that's six damage. Oh, we might be able to save Sattler's life now. Oh. Come on, give me gold. No! Oh! No! No! Poor Sattler! If he moves, though... That's your fault there. Sadler, the scales, oh, and turns out some mutants who got bored decided to appear out of nowhere. Just to make things a little bit more exciting. And now they get another move. More mutants appearing out of, well, nowhere. We've had someone bleed out, and really, it's just getting really bad. Really bad. They are going to gun us down next turn. I mean, I'll try to get the floater, but apart from that, you know... You know, if you did that last, tur last turn, Sadler would still be alive. Would still be stuffed, but Sadler would still be alive. And that's what matters, the fact that you failed really badly. Meanwhile, Spider is running like a small child, because he's more important than everybody else. Yeah, we could not do this, not that many mutants, not with our crew here today. You know, this Berserker is literally going to tear Morgri to shreds. If he gets a chance, I and mean, he might just die to gunfire. That's a problem too, the Overwatchers. We might even get pegged down before we even get back to the ship. Fortunately, we have we do have Forest who can provide some human human um human shield rather. How well defended was this supply ship? I mean it's not just meant to be a supply ship. Why is it that much stuff? Alright, well, as I said, we'll just have to do what we can with what we have. And that means running away as fast as humanly possible. Dashing there. Which seems to be out of range of the enemy's overwatch, but even so. One more dash next turn and we shall be safe and able to flee. Somehow Morgri has actually survived. Let's test his survival skills, shall we? Oh, he, he's, he's running for it! Oh yeah! Run! Run, Mowgli! Run! Run! Run, run Charles! Nope, he failed. <laughs> he ran, and he died. Child who runs and dies. Bit of blood calling action that we can't see. No one can see it, really. Alright, dash to the exit, Forrest. Alright, Spider, dash to the exit. That's all that matters. Dash to the exit. Do you want to exit? Yeah, abort! Yay! Yay! We failed! Woo! Well, on that bombshell... Turns out, having a secondary crew to take out a large ship, even if it's just a supply ship, ends badly. We know. So, Forrest is gravely wounded, and Spider is just sitting there going, Well, I was fine, you know. I did well. Everyone else accumulated some kills, but yeah, it was quite embarrassing, really. So, yeah, we actually have the good people left. 
Apart from Forrest, he's actually not that good, but everyone else is good. Well, when we come back, more XCOM. Yeah.